What's going on everybody? This is Patrick from Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. Rainy, crappy, January day. But I have something to bring you. Um, company reached out, asked me if I'd be willing to review this, take a look at it, and I said yes, I'd be glad to. Let me bring you in a little closer. That, that, that looks better. But y'all feel like you're sitting on the other side of the house. Anyway, so a company called Talk Pod reached out to me and said, we'd like to send you one of our radios. We need you to pick which one you would like to have. And I was like, ooh, they got a green one. <laughs> and I, that's the one I picked. It's a GMRS radio. Um, I will put down the uh, specs on it right now they'll be running at the bottom of the screen for it um, now technically legally you're supposed to have a GMRS license to transmit on GMRS radio I hold such license I'd have to look at my phone to see tell you what my call sign is, but I do have one. Anyway, we use these things a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Special when we're off-roading and stuff. Um, for instance, Daniel Boone. Um, anytime me and Bill are out with all the fellas, we have GMRS radios or at least FRS radios in hand at all times usually GMRS is what we're running um, I have another brand name I will not mention now because this video is talk pod um, this is the talk pod a 36 plus I had to look and see for sure um, what I really like about it, it is 100% programmable in chirp and if you don't know what chirp is chirp is a free software uh, if you're willing to give them some donations they are happy because they keep up with that software so that you can program said radios uh, they handle the radio that I have the two different brands that I have they handle those so immediately immediately I went in to that radio, wiped it, and put my own stuff in it. Because I know it works, and I know how it works. Um, my channel layout with repeaters and everything in the area in Tennessee. Um, the only other thing I added to it was two weather stations I rely on when I'm on the road. I will be adding some more of those because, oh my god, it's Mario Kart season here in Tennessee. And if you don't know what Mario Kart season is, we had a snowfall, so they threw down salt. So that means the asphalt is exploding as we speak. So you have to dodge potholes. Anyway, that's out of the way. But um, two things I want to talk about on the Talkapod that I really, really, really love, and it's a plus for me, is one, it comes with its own charging stand. They give you that. Two. Actually, it's three things. Two, they give you the program cable. Now, I already had one. Like I said, I program my own radios. And three, it's USB-C rechargeable. Now, for you, uh, for those of you that go out and about and off-road and stuff and has groups, and you may have another brand of radio because it was cheap, well, these are not badly priced either. As a matter of fact, I will throw down the link down to them on Amazon because that's where you can get them in green or black. If it had orange, I would have gotten orange. I would have gotten it. But they had green, so I got green. Um, what I like, what, I, what really drew me to the, the whole thing is USB-C rechargeable. Now, that means you could charge it on the go you don't necessarily have to have the base station to charge it which if you're out for several days at a time that would be really great to be able to throw the radio on, on a USB-C while you're 
out riding or just while you're parked you could be charging it for the next day um, so that that's a major plus for me okay so we're taking a look at the radio um, here's what all comes in the box you get your charger for the wall which is a stand actually uh, does have the thermal um, detection in it so that way if it starts getting too hot while, or it's too hot when it starts charging it will not charge and wait till the battery cools down and then it will charge which is a good thing keeps you from damaging your battery the next big thing I really like about this is the screen that is a awesome screen on that thing uh, it's color for the most part I think it's color and it gives you everything you need as far as all your information your signal strength and everything if you're wondering yeah I'm kind of off-roading right now I'm not off-roading I'm actually at one of pre pretty close to the house but anyway um, in times like this if you're with a group you need this radio you need one of these radios on you um, that way if you were to have a problem you can radio the group hey stop we got a problem back here okay well somebody was coming in on channel 16 now that's one of the thing one of the ones I keep it on when I'm out by myself is channel 16 the reason why channel 16 if you do 4x4 channel 16 so anyway uh, I'm really impressed with the radio don't know how the battery is going to be we're going to have to test that a little more long term there will be a part two to this video at some point down the road when I've had it a little bit longer The only complaint so far is the instruction book or lack of not that great and if you skew the scan the QR code the first time I tried it it ended up taking me to a website that I well I couldn't read because it was not in English it wasn't even in Spanish so take that for a grain of salt but the only other complaint I have is and, and I, I gotta dig deeper into it and that's why I say I can give you a better um, a little bit longer down the road with it and I'll give you a much better uh, perspective on the radio itself now the other brand I've had the biggest problem I've always had with those and I'm hoping that's not what that's doing is just picking up weird signals and making the radio sit there and do static um, there's been times where we've had to turn the other brand off because there's just too much static going on and just kind of <laughs> kind of ruins the thing for you but then of course some people are behind you calling you going hey I've got a problem <laughs> we didn't know but anyways guys let's see give me just a minute we'll get somewhere else and uh, some more things about the radio okay so um i want to personally thank talk pod for sending me the radio um they wanted honest review i'm giving you what i can for now um i'm going to be doing some more stuff up at land between the lakes this year um with another youtuber we're going to be doing some uh back country camping um something i've been wanting to do for a while um and anyway uh, so this will be crucial to mine and his uh, ventures together this year I can't wait to bring that in uh, you know who I'm talking to uh, if you um, I, I'm, I'm ready to come camping with you and I'm ready to 
we're going to see where the Titan can go and where the Titan can't. Um, I've got a feeling this may be the last year for the Titan. I don't know. We may get something different next year. Uh, Chloe gets graduated and everything. It's just me and the mama at home. Well, freeze up some things. So, who knows? But uh, anyway, Talk uh, TalkPod, I appreciate you sending me this radio. Um, this is uh, part one. We'll do another one here in six months on how it's held up, how it's done for me. Um, but uh, it's a nice little radio. Like I said, my biggest thing is the screen. Um, that it works off a of chirp without any problems. Um, we'll see how long the battery lasts because we'll be doing a Jeep outing here pretty soon. Uh, but we'll see how the battery lasts on it. And the other plus to it is USB-C charging. So you could charge it on the go if you had to. So I kind of like that idea a lot. A lot. So anyways, guys. I, I appreciate everything you've done. Um, I appreciate talk uh, talk a pod talk pod. Sorry guys, I will get it out in a minute. Um, thanks for the radio, and uh, you'll see more about it here. Well, let's give it six months and see what happens. All right, guys, that's it. Be prepared and see you on the next.